ran over top of her last time because I saw them black. Hold on. We lost the tire. A man and a woman left their home to switch things up and go on the road. They didn't know where they would go, but it's gotta be better than staying home. They switched it up. They switched it up. The drama continues. We felt something. I think we lost it. Todd thinks we lost a tire. I saw something black. What happened? How'd we lose a tire? I don't know what to do. There was like a huge shift in the RV. I looked up and saw the tire rolling down. I think it's here. All brand new tires too. Oh my God. Here comes Todd, rolling the tire back down the road. I have no idea how we just lost a whole tire. The whole tire. Brand new tire, so I'm glad he went and got it. But I don't know how this tire just comes off. It's news for me. That was weird. How did we lose a whole tire? So maybe we can go to this next exit. How far away is it? I don't know. Oh, it's that, right there. But that campground, I don't know that it's on this road. Let me look. We're going to have to get a whole hub, hub assembly. Okay, now issue is... Oh my gosh. I don't know how this is going to support. We have to limp about a, a mile to try to get off the highway. We're so lucky. Holy moly, we're so lucky. The question is, is should we just call a tow truck? No, we just got to get off here. It's going to be too dangerous. Too dangerous to do what? To do anything on the side of this road. Well, you can't fix that. So that's why I say we need to call a We can once we get off. Well, she doesn't have room for somebody as big as us. Who's she? That RV park back there. She's like, you can come in here and I can let you park over to the side. That's, I mean, that's all we need, right? Okay. I think I've just about had enough. We, we might have found my breaking point. This might be it. I'll just feel, I'll feel better to get off of the road. I mean, just to get off the highway is uh, a good feeling. And here we are right outside of Jamestown. So the good part is, is Jamestown has a 
ton of room. Ton of room for what? Well, I mean, at least it's a town. There's nothing in in North Dakota at all. Like we actually made it to some sort of place. It just seems like it's constantly something right now. Like you just kind of hit a point where it seems like everything is stacked against you and it's hard. We just spent a week really in a spot waiting on parts and getting leaf springs and new tires and then Todd did such a good job of replacing everything but at the same time if you don't have the right tool like we needed a torque wrench obviously but here's the thing women now is not the time to bring it up so I'm just sharing my feelings with you guys now thinking okay he did a good job of replacing everything and but if you this probably could have been prevented by a torque wrench so Todd's gonna take the scooter there's a campground just right up here and here's keys I need sunglasses we need to see if there's like a uh, tractor supply or a trailer tractor supply would carry possibly the hub assembly or a like a normal trailer place okay you're recording yeah uh huh uh huh I'll be right back I'm telling them all the woes it's this is a chat this one's their biggest challenge yet it's like one challenge but blessings again nothing was completely tore apart nothing was completely hurt we didn't hurt another vehicle we were close to an exit and there's a campground right here so him. there's a lot of blessings here give me my phone just in case i need to call you he's right sometimes you just gotta look at all the blessings north dakota is in there's so many places we could have broke down where there's nothing but like a cornfield or a canola field or a wheat field nothing so he's right we're just right here this campground down the road we still i just am tired of the breakdowns i am tired of the breakdowns all the breakdowns are going to cause me to break down i think it's just a real moment to just say sometimes you just want to go home that's just real To be continued. I'm back already because I just remembered I am home. Things that make you go, hmm. But I found a tractor supply company here in town just five minutes away. So this, we are very blessed that we broke down right here where everything is nearby. I don't know what we're doing though. I have a massive headache though. It's called stress tension headache. It hasn't went away since we broke down the last time okay this is like a diary cam thanks for being my diary <laughs> okay this campground is about a mile away they have two sites no power we'll be all right because we have solar and if we need to we can run the generator and it's, it's cool here in north dakota so i got about a mile back to get to sheila and then we'll live down this road guess who's back did you get my text? Question, yes, did you get mine back? No, I was... There's on. only five minutes, the, the tractor supply company is only five minutes from here, so maybe we just drop the trailer here, see if what they have, and then it's, we can I need fix more. it. I need more, I might have to replace the whole axle, so I need to be somewhere off of this that I can pull it all apart if I need to. And it isn't here, on the side of this road. So we got one mile, we're gonna limp to. I'll put the scooter away. That way we're out, and if it doesn't, they don't have it, we're out of the way, okay. and we don't have to worry about tonight. We'll worry about tomorrow or Monday if we need to. Okay. I just want to know where the nearest airport is. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Oh, good. They're off the ground. Okay, we made it. Campground. 
They didn't, this hookup has no power. Sheila's still dealing with the stress headache because this is like, it's a lot. It's been a week. It's been a, it's been a long week. From the tires to breaking leaf springs to fixing the CRE 3000 to, yeah. Off to Tractor Supply. Come on, Tractor Supply. We need them as a sponsor. <laughs> okay. Get an RV, they say. It'll be fun, they say. All right, let's go. Let's go see what we can find. It's, I'm so happy we found the tire. You, you don't even know, like, it could have been so much worse. Little tractor supply. It's an RVer's best friend. I don't know if that's a tip or not, but it's true. Truck and trailer, parts and accessories. Wow. Come on, baby. Be good to me. I see axles. Alas, they don't have what I need. I was even willing to buy an axle, but it's only a five bolt pattern, so. And they don't have any extra lug nuts. But I'm thinking about getting a new bearing kit. We'll see what we have going when I pull it all apart. But everything else is closed till Monday, so we'll just have to wait. It's <sighs> those little things. <laughs> I had to go get microphones and a jacket because it's a little chilly. Right about now, let me scoot you back here a little close to me. Right about now, some of you are wondering what happened. And I don't know where we are in this story because there's been so many highs and lows in the last 14, 15, 16 hours, whatever. When the incident happened, I was able to get the tire, was able to go down this thing. We get parked. We get, it's Saturday at about three o'clock, four o'clock. Everything in North Dakota shuts down on Sunday and I mean everything there's really not much you can find there's only so many big towns in North Dakota and we just happen to be at the exit for Jamestown which is a blessing we just happen to have an RV park that had two sites that has no power they said we could just park here blessing but then we were like how are we gonna get parts if everything shut down so we made a decision to start getting on the phone calling right I knew exactly what we needed we called in to wonderful camping world and that camping world is an hour and 25 minutes away and that's in Fargo they said I asked specifically do you have an eight spoke scenario and he's like yeah yeah we we have one I have it right here so I paid for it on the phone we weren't gonna make it there before they closed and they're closed all day on Sunday which is today and so we asked Andy and Julie, which were 25 minutes away, to go in and pick it up. We sent pictures of the hub. We said we needed lug nuts. They stopped by a hardware store. They got lug nuts to make sure they fit. One, the guy asked specifically on the phone three times if it was eight, and he said, yes, it's eight. It wasn't, it was six. So now here we are on Sunday. I'm going to try to pull these, these basically studs out see if one of the hardware stores or not hardware stores one of the, like the napa auto parts some store here might have lug nuts but i didn't realize that these lug nuts come in variety of different shapes sizes lengths there's like a a, a curb or whatever they call it on the back side that's as different each one has di so there's lots of differences dexter makes on your grand design momentums they generally make all the axles and they also dexter makes the hub assembly that you have here because that all comes with the axle. Dexter, the nearest Dexter person that supplies anything is in Minneapolis and Minneapolis is now 350 miles away, but we are heading that way. So there's a lot of stuff. Why don't I just order a whole new hub assembly? That's great. We're in North Dakota and they said um, Thursday to Friday. Well, we have so many stops that we have because we're making it to the huddle that it throws this whole schedule off so we really have to try to figure out how to make this work. So you're asking, Todd, what caused all those to shear off? Me. So we'll go into that more here in a second. I know it's loud because we're by a highway, but it's me. 
and it was over tightened because when I got all the tires put on, I put all the new tires on, your whole mind says, I'm worried about, you know, losing a tire down the road. So in my worry, I used my impact wrench, which we should go over. Nobody, I don't think anybody's ever talked about that, that I've seen, otherwise I wouldn't have made this, I would have not made this critical error. So let me try to get this off and then we'll kind of go dive into the other stuff. Now you're up to date. We're still stranded. We were hoping it was gonna be, like if I would have had the hub assembly, this would have been done in like 15, 20 minutes and we would have been on the road. Alas, that did not work that way. Since I drug coming down, it looks like the inside's not tore up too bad. And since I drug coming down the road, the gravel road, we were only going like three to five miles an hour. Looks like I got a little dirt in here, so I'm gonna try to clean it out. It doesn't look like it's anything that's going to stop some stuff, but looking at my brakes, looks like it's time for a new hub anyway. Look at that brake assembly. It's like there's nothing left. Probably time to replace these anyway, so it could always be worse, right? So, so now I gotta see if I can get the studs out. And we have to pound them from the other side. Right about now you're asking me how you're gonna do this. Quite honestly, I don't know. I've never done it before. Some of you are great mechanics and have accomplished such a feat. This is all new to me. So while we're here, can we talk about this for a minute? This has been my greatest ally, and apparently an enemy. <laughs> I have, you've followed our journey. I have pulled on and off the tires. I exaggerate none, about 20 times. So from all of the times I've had to try to fix the brakes from our journey when we started to fixing leaf springs to, you know, now doing tires, you know, I've used this. Did you know, like, I guess I just never thought. I, I, I should have, but I didn't. It's my own naivety. This wonderful is great for pulling everything apart, but putting it back together, you do have to torque it at the right. So an average torque on a, I don't even know if I have it here. Hold on. No, this is my. It's my smaller one. So I'm gonna use a torque, right? This is my small one. I need to go get my bigger one. But average torque on a lug nut is gonna be around 90 to 100 pounds. This operates close to like 800. I think some run up to almost a thousand pounds. I should, I should check. Meanwhile, if you have an impact driver like this, you can run into that 140 range, which isn't atrocious. If I would have probably used this to put the lug nuts back on, I probably would have been in a better scenario. So, because I have all the tools, it's just that I'm it's so used to grabbing the impact wrench and shoving them on, I over torqued the bolts. So that means I'm gonna have to go through every one of my wheels because now I'm having a fear of, I've done this now to every one of my tires and that this is gonna happen again. So this is in the back of my head. It is what it is. And hopefully you're watching this video before you make this same drastic mistake and I'm lucky nobody got hurt and we were able to get to a safe spot, but it is a very valuable learning experience for sure. I gotta get some stuff to pound this out. And I've never done this before, so some of you are sitting there. I've decided to try to use, I have a few of these, so if I, if I mess one up. So an extender, I don't even know how well, I know they're pressed in and I know how I'll get the new ones in, but I don't think this is gonna be possible with what I currently have. It's almost like you need an air impact wrench to try to get them to move, or I'll have to put it on the ground, get them more stable, and take some swings, like some really good swings at it. Even if I get this, I got seven more to go. Oh, I got one. I got one. This is like, I don't know, feels like a victory since we've started this whole thing. Step one, lug nuts out. Now we gotta figure out some stuff. Okay, so here's something. Tip, hope you can hear me all right. So apparently with lug nuts, depending on what you have, 
you got this, I don't know if they call it a curb. So if you're trying to find lug nuts, this is the distance between here and here. And then I got to find the length of the lug nut. So now the point I'm going to try to do is take off the other wheel and then measure how long the nut lug nut was. So then I have a total distance. So then I can take this and see if I can go find something here in a parts store or something here in Jamestown. But this is very important. We tried to do this last night and we didn't know that distance. Okay, so of course, new torque. But I found it was quite the adventure, to say the least. It's a 916 stud, and I believe it's about two and a half inch. What the problem is, is this shoulder width here. So I had to make sure that it was compared properly with this, the old one. The width is not the same. I didn't go out and check it. Oh, I'm gonna lose my stinking mind right now. Why didn't I go check it? Oh my goodness. All right, I gotta go back. Well, all of my best laid plans have um, melted. The thickness of this right here. So we are stuck till Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever we can get parts now. And the saga will continue. But I will tell you that I probably will research these bolts more and see if I can have extras. This, there's nothing worse than just feeling like you're helpless. I will work on that and I'm putting everything else away and we'll see what Monday holds. It just stinks because I know what's coming and how much it's throwing us behind schedule to try to get to the huddle in Michigan. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Always an adventure, right? Always an adventure. You and I have been here before. I don't know what this means. P00002, but I found them at this great trailer place here. And it was literally like pulling teeth. If you're trying to go to like a Napa or something to find something like this, it's pulling teeth. It's an actual standard size, believe it or not. I just had no clue until you go to a trailer place. But they weren't open for Saturday or Sunday. So this morning I literally was there within, I don't know, within five minutes. He was like, yeah, come on. So I think I got everything I need. I even got a new cap. Hopefully that will fit, but I'm pretty sure it will. I'll have to spray paint it. Okay. We're going to give it our best shot. I've never done this. But as far as like um, getting a whole new hub assembly, he thinks he thinks like he has a hub assembly as well, if I wanted to go that route. But I believe this is going to be just fine. I'll just re-grease everything, made sure everything was clean, and we should be good to go. The cap fits too. You guys, this is like a victory. Now we gotta put it together. Cap fits, believe it or not, they actually had one of these. It's the same one. So even though this got all tore up and bent, I can just spray paint this one. Cause they spray painted this one anyways, right? Um, when they did the wheels. Side note, anytime you go to spray paint something, always use isopropyl alcohol to clean it off first and then put on your two or three coats. That way, whatever is on whatever you're getting ready to spray paint, all the crappy stuff is gone. Any oils, things like that. So the goal here is I'm just gonna spray paint this and while this is drying for however long, I'll be pounding back everything and getting the wheel all back in place. Crazy part is, is this, this place that I just went to, no joke, right across the highway, it's two miles. So once again, we break down one mile to the RV park, two miles to a repair facility that has everything. Okay, so the goal now is I'm gonna take these and since on the back side I got an open nut, I'm gonna suck this down so it can sit flush. I 
goal here is I'm using one of the newer nuts to see the depth of where this needs to be so I know it sits flush. What I did right is I'm just taking a measurement. All right, so all we have left now is grab some grease, put it all back together. That's the hope. I think it helped that I pounded and seeded the threads in real quick before I started sucking it in with the bolt. But I think this is key, because if I had to use these, I guess that would have worked, but I wouldn't been able to see the depth of the bolt to make sure that they were seated to the right height. The idea here is that you want to seat you want to seat this whole thing back tight and then you back it off a half turn so now it's not binding up on itself and you have to lock that musher freshly painted cap look at that that's too shabby, huh? This one kind of got a little roughed up when the tire came off. It's almost like a brand new wheel. For all those you wondering, yes, I still have an impact wrench. Will I make the same mistake again? No. But I will use it to cut down my time. I just won't make the same mistake. Remember, it's supposed to be set to 100 pounds. And just like that, we are back together at last. I think I probably could have had it done if the store would have been open within an hour, hour and a half from everything I had to figure out. But store's not open, not having parts. Lessons learned. One, I carry extra lug nuts now. Two, we're very fortunate in everything that just happened. Very, very, very fortunate, and we understand that. Three, you're gonna sit there and say, hey, why didn't you just get a new hub? And well, where we're at, he thinks he might've had one, but I was so happy about getting the right lug nuts or the right lug bolts that I was just going to just go with what I knew I could get now, down the road, I'll probably go 50, maybe 100 miles. We'll probably pull over and then I'll reset all those just to make sure that everything is good. Not to mention in my mind, I'm like, well, did any of that cause the wheel not to be balanced? So that's gonna be another thing I wanna look at. But other than that, we are back on the road. We're back in the game. So I'm not perfect. You might've learned some things too. Don't use your DeWalt to over tighten got lazy my fault we're on to the show next the next stop we're two days behind now thanks for tuning in if you enjoy this type of content like comment subscribe do the shameless plug and with all that being said we're out this this one was a tough one we're out